What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another Steam Deck video and this time we're going to be taking a look at non-Steam Launcher through the Decky Loader plugin. This is different from what I've covered before when it comes to the desktop and we'll get into that but this is a great way to be able to install other game launchers and even streaming services to your Steam Deck. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now I did again cover the uh, desktop version of this. I have a fully updated video actually coming out for this as well, so keep an eye out on that. But this is a different way of doing this in game mode with Decky Loader, so that's what we're gonna get into here. Now, of course, like I said, you are gonna need Decky Loader, and I have a fully updated guide on the channel. Link in the description if you need that, so that you can go and install Decky if you haven't already. A great thing to have on your Steam Deck. Now I'll also have links to the GitHub page where you can go and support the dev, find out information about non-Steam Launcher, both desktop and Decky Loader plugin wise, and get a lot more info there. Now, the other thing is Proton compatibility layers. Now, non-Steam Launcher will automatically install the newest one and use for you, but that requires a Steam restart and you might forget to do that. So I do like to go ahead and have the Proton layers either through desktop with Proton UpQt installed and ready to go, or if you don't want to go that route since you are going to be using Decky loader anyway you could simply go into the store and download wine cellar and manage your proton layers from there but i kind of like to have the newest stuff already on the deck restarted ready to go and then get in to nsl here we're going to go in here into settings of decky loader now that we have decky loader on here and i'm using the pre-release but more importantly i'm using the testing store here the default store the stable store doesn't have this yet however that could change any moment or any day so keep an eye on that, out on that but right now it's over in the testing store so we're going to go over into the store here. I'll have the testing version come up. We're going to scroll down till we get to non-Steam launchers here, and then we'll just simply install that. And if you haven't done this kind of thing before, these plugins install really quickly, and they're easy to use here on the Steam Deck. So we'll get that installed, and then we'll be able to take a look at everything and get into it. All right, with that on here, we're going to go ahead and come down, go into non-Steam launchers, and you'll see game launchers here. We've got streaming sites, custom website shortcuts, start fresh, and game scanner. So game scanner is going to be an auto scan that you will need on for the streaming sites. You can manually scan for your games that are installed uh, if you want to there. I'm going to have this on auto when I get into it, but I did want to mention that. And we'll talk about that more. But yeah, streaming sites, game launchers, custom URLs uh, to go to here, and different choices for all the different ones. So as far as streaming, uh, Game Pass, which is Cloud, Fortnite, GeForce Now, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, all of that. And then our game launchers with Epic, GOG, Ubisoft, Battle.net, Amazon, um, all those down through here uh, that you can install and use. And all this has worked pretty well. What I've stuck with though for my launchers to test are my top five are the ones I use the most, which again, like I said, we're going to want auto scan turned on when I get to the streaming site so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on anyway it's gonna automatically make my games pop up uh, as well when I install them uh, but that's fine I'll show you how that's working here but anyway auto scan is on we're gonna go ahead and click all of these launchers on here Ubisoft Battle.net uh, we'll go EA app and GOG and Epic so just for five like top launchers where I have games we'll throw these ones on here and get them installed once you pick the launchers that you want we can just go down here to the bottom. We'll go to uh, install. You could do those in separate launcher folders as well or just install. I think I've just done the typical install for everything so far with this. And then this process doesn't take that long. And then with artwork and all, you get your launchers that you picked installed and showing up here for non-Steam games in your Steam library. This works really well. It's nice that the artwork is already there and you don't have to go in and make any changes to that yourself. And yeah, it looks good. It looks clean. And as far as all these working, since I did have the newest compatibility layer already, that's what's been applied for these and it has worked so far. But you never know, you might have to go in and make changes to your compatibility layer if you run into issues with certain games or with the launchers down the road or with updates. It just happens. But I do have the current, as I'm making this video, newest GE Proton layer running all of these launchers and games without any trouble. Now, the other thing for all five of these or any launchers or apps you may be using is you might want to adjust your controller settings to make sure that you can left click and do things easier so I'm using gamepad with mouse trackpad for pretty much all these and then with an edit layout I'm able to go into trackpads and make sure that the click is for the left mouse click so that I can actually kind of navigate and click around easier and of course make any other adjustments you want to here but that makes it really easy to scroll around and just click 
and move around and choose things in all these apps uh, in here for NSL. And this works for anything else on your deck as well. But yeah, all of these I was able to launch with no problem, logged into all five of them without any trouble, downloaded games for all of them, and then was able to run all the games without trouble for all these launchers. Now, you never know what games are going to run great or not at all or whatever. That's the case with all these, but you just got to be able to try out your library and see what's going to work out here uh, for you. Of course, a lot of games like, you know, Fortnite and games that don't work on Linux anyway or are banned or not allowed or Call of Duty, those aren't going to work anyways. Um, but it's great for the other games you may have in these libraries. Now, Epic is the only one that gave me a little bit of trouble. Uh, there should be an update coming to fix this it worked in desktop mode but not game mode but at target if you add the dash opengl at the end here uh, that was missing and that's what fixed it so once i went in and added that whether uh whatever mode when i went back to game mode it was working fine so that happened to be missing it should get fixed in an update if it isn't already so if you run into that that's all you need to do there. So I had a bunch of games installed, but I dwindled it down to these five, one for each launcher. All of them have worked uh, really well here. And again, all this artwork automatically showed up and all the scanning here automatically happened. And I've tested quite a few games with a lot of different methods from Lutris to Heroic to manually doing them myself. Um, junk store, non-Steam launcher, desktop, all different ways to do these launcher installs. And for the most part, they tend to run the games pretty well without much trouble. And I would say that for the games that I tested here and did run here, pretty easy to run stuff. The performance was fine. No major hiccups or frame time issues or weird oddities that I ran into at least with my time, just jumping through all the launchers and playing different games uh, from them and checking out performance. Again, I'm not playing demanding games, but just wanted to see if running through this process would give me any trouble. And so far it really hasn't, but that's not to say that it won't as I move forward and play a lot more games. So let's go back in here and do these streaming sites because I do want to highlight this, even though the game launchers was kind of the main thing. Auto scans on, we're good to go here. Uh, keep in mind, start fresh, we'll wipe everything and start over. We don't have individualized ways to delete things, which hopefully we'll get here in the future. But yeah, I'll do Xbox Game Pass, which is xCloud. I'll do the Fortnite shortcut to test that out. We'll do GeForce Now here. Uh, we'll hit Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime. We'll throw these six on here and we'll hit install. Same process as we had with our game launchers. And this took less than a minute for all of these. And then when it was done, uh, it just goes back a little bit here and you start getting the pop-ups. New shortcut has been created. So if I go back here, you can see now we're going to have Prime Video up here. Again, all the artwork's already here. Looks nice, clean, and ready to go. So Prime Video, we come down here. We, we do have GeForce Now and that Fortnite shortcut, uh, which would be over on Xbox Cloud Gaming. So we'll check that out. And then we come down here more. We'll have Netflix, Hulu, and there's the Xbox Game Pass. So all that worked really flawlessly. Uh, and launching into these, this is all Google Chrome. So... There's no compatibility layer stuff. It's just a matter of logging into your accounts and being able to run everything from there. And everything, all of these, uh, all six of these launched and ran just fine for me uh, here. So streaming through Google Chrome, of course, that's going to be uh, what it is for each of these streamers. Now, the Fortnite shortcut worked fine as well. We go in here and again, that's Xbox Cloud Gaming. So it's really just taking you to the launch page. Um, of that, but it's cool. It cuts some time off and you can just kind of directly get there if you want to. So yeah, working pretty well. We'll go down here and test just the Xbox Game Pass, which is Xbox Cloud Gaming. We'll get that in. I'm already logged in through Chrome, so all this worked uh, pretty easily for me. And there we go. Uh, Xbox Cloud Gaming loaded up, controller support and everything working. All this has worked really well for me. I don't really have a lot of complaints other than a few little hiccups I've mentioned, but it's a pretty clean way to get everything installed, pretty easy and quick. And it's another great plugin uh, for Decky Loader, really. Uh, this, this has been a pretty good experience. We do need to see some additions. Start fresh isn't great. I'd like to be able to individually remove things here and, and that kind of thing. Um, I would also like the ability to do the game scanner where instead of auto to get those to show up, I could maybe do that for, for streaming and for game launchers like separately and just little changes and stuff like that. But I have been talking to the dev and a lot of those things and other features are going to be worked on. This is really just kind of the early, early days in the testing store. Um, I'm presenting this kind of a on the ground level beta style. This plugin has a little ways to go, but it also is so far working really well for me here and I want to share it with you guys and I'll definitely be covering this more as we go into the future and we get more features and updates and I will be doing an updated video for the desktop version as well along with a bunch of other videos on the way. All right guys thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.